What's going on YouTube? Clover Bells here back with another Series 10 collaboration video yet again and we are joined this time by Evelyn and she's got a Kyogre Tonogre team but there is a Luxury on this team hence the name Luxarina. <laughs> Evelyn would you like to say hello to our viewers and tell us a little bit about your VGC background? Hello everyone, thanks for hosting me. Uh, my name is Evelyn, I'm a VGC player from Brazil. I have been playing VGC like since Series 7, that is November 2020, and I have qualified for PC4, and also have took part of the VGC's Smogon Player League, which is a tournament, team tournament, organized by Smogon, and I won it with the 7 Islands Titans with other players like Zelda VGC and Ero Ricosa. Oh my goodness! So we have a champion on our on our video today. So uh, not so much. But... <laughs> All right, hey, 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 hey! You still you still won, okay? You're still on the winning yeah, team. Therefore, that makes you a champion. It's just like in professional <laughs> sports. Even someone that yeah. plays one minute the entire season is still a champion. All right. So yeah. that's that's our introduction here so um without further ado you know how this goes guys Evelyn is gonna call all the shots and tell me what to do I'm just gonna click the buttons so without wasting any more time let's just go straight into let's the go. rank battles uh, okay oh, it's Xerneas yeah Xerneas is a kind of a bad, bad matchup yeah you More. have nothing to hit it with <laughs> yeah normally what I do is the double glides on normal at the back but I think we can lead Thorn over. Okay. Sure. And get Rila and Serena on the back. Alright, so you want him to bring one of his fire types. Yeah, I assume he will bring like Xerneas and Eleki or something like that in worst case scenario, so we can just like switch into Rila and his taunts. Okay. I mean, Two fire types means two things weak to Kyogre, so I don't know if he brings yeah. both. <clears throat> okay. And bringing the two grass types with the rain shouldn't be much of a problem. And considering we have like the double glides, then we can completely shut down the Urshifu. That's probably a uh, rapid strike. And the Regilecki. Also, while being immune to that. Okay, so my, so my question now is, uh, does the Hurricane... Um, Sharp Beak Tornadoes one-shot the uh, Sassy Amoongus. Depends on its sets. It's because Amoongus can be more physically defensive or more specially defensive. Okay. Is he going to lead Amoongus Xerneas? Alright, we're I'm about to find sure. out. We have some Regilecki shenanigans. Okay, and you are correct. It is the Regilecki yeah. and the Incineroar. Okay. So what we can do... Uh, they would just fake out an Electro Web or... I think so. Yeah, that's probably Sash the Mongo, so it... Um, he has nothing in the back except for the uh, Among Us that could switch into the Water Spout. So, I think... Mm. A Rilla switching on the Torn place and go for the Protect on Kyogre, it's a safe play. We're going into Rilla Boom. Yeah, okay. Protect the Kyogre. All right. Next turn, we take out the, the Regilecki and they probably could Protect as well. On the next turn, but we can switch into Serena or maybe switch into a pawn to get the tail while they play safe. Okay, so we are going to switch in the Rillaboom here. We're going to protect the Kyogre and not take any Regilecki damage this turn. Uh, the Incineroar does go for the fake out onto the Tornadus, and this is, as we said, an Electro Web. Okay, so everything has plans. Yeah, that's the part where they don't have any switches pretty much. Considering, like, I see the put, uh, the... The damage? I see the protect okay. coming off, or maybe the, um, uh, I'm gonna switch it. Uh, let me think. Yeah, I think 
just playing safe, uh, fake out in the Regilecki slot. And, and click the spell button. button. Yep, this sounds good to me. Yeah. If he switches, something's taking a water spout. All right, here comes the Incineroar withdrawal. Is this the Moongus? It is. All right. So, does the Regilecki protect here? Does. All right. Still, the Amoongus will take the water spout. Yeah. All right, here we go. I would love a crit on the Amoongus. All right, can we do half? That's fine. Can we do half? Yeah. Probably. No. Okay. Close. So, I think that's safe. That is mm. more specially defensive. Considering the damage. Uh, I think what we can do now... They probably bring the... No, they won't bring the... So we know it's probably Zern. Yeah, I... To be honest, I think they could switch in the... It's in the Alecky slot? I think they could. Yep. Yeah. You want to do it anyway? Water Spout? I don't know, because they could also not. I think... Mm. Well, you have 20 seconds, so... What we could do is you turn. Okay. You turn the Regilect slot and protect. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. Do okay. That. Okay. All right. Does he so switch? Next turn, I nope. I think we are free pretty much to switch in Serena or maybe even Tailwind. Volt so switch? Ooh. Okay, he... that's a great play because next yep. turn we just like Tailwind. Yep. And we remove his. We remove uh, that some damage. His focus sash. So that's good. So he was trying to go into the Ensign. Do you want the Serena? No, the Torn. If he spores that slot. No, he wouldn't. We're a grass type. Yeah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. Unless he calls this. Yeah. But let's see. Alright, here comes the Tornadus. And he goes for the Grass Knot. Ooh! The Grass Knot. Alright, well, All right. now the Amoongus is in a bad spot because now we threaten Hurricane. Yeah. The thing is, do we want to go for the Hurricane in War Spots? Well, if you go for the Hurricane, the Alecky goes next. Yeah. So, I'll leave it up to you. Do you want to get rid of the Amoongus? Uh, yeah, I think it's a good play. Uh, maybe Hurricane, the Amoongus lots. Okay. Okay. Then we, I don't know if we risk it or not. If we, I think it's rather better to not risk, so bringing the Incineroar. No, the Incineroar or the, the Rilla. Okay, we're gonna play it safe yet again. We just want to remove the Amoongus first and not get spored. So out comes Kyogre into Rillaboom. Alright, we don't want to get electric moved. The ele I'm ready like yeah, protected. Protect. Okay. Yeah, we prevent if we catch the. Alright, Sharp Beak! Can it kill? Okay. It does. Okay. So we fret we fret on a fake out, so they're most likely switching. The Incineroar. Or maybe the Xerneas, depending on what else he brings. That's true. It could be the Xerneas, then we then out and Rusty Glide. It is a Zern. He could also bait this into an Incineroar switch. Yeah. Alright. What would you like to do? Uh, I think... What are his chances to him to Geomancy? Because if he, we taunt and we... And he dual messes like and we we U turn. Because I'm worried about like a moon blast into the real slot. That would be that would suck. Considering we want to switch in that. Mm. I think because we have the the pressure. So mm. yeah, we want to taunt the Zernus. Okay. And U turn the Alecky. All right, the Alecky can't really protect, or he could switch into the Ensign. But we are going to U-turn yeah. out, and this is exactly what he's doing. So he'll get the Intimidate off, but not going to matter, because we are going to U-turn. This could even be a Protect on the Xerneas, because the VG play number one, pivot one slot, protect the other one. Does he do it? He doesn't. No, that's not. Okay. All right, he didn't protect. Did he Geo? He did. Let's go. Wow. He okay. went... Oh. Is this what I think it is? But he does have Fake Out. Yeah, he does have fake up, but you can bring the Serena in. That's right. So you want to bring the Kyogre and then s yeah, do Serena? Yeah, the Kyogre. Okay, and then you want to bring in the Serena and then just go for Water Spout? 
they could Moonblast. They could? Are you faster than the Xerneas? No, I'm not. No. You. Oh, yeah, you're not Scarf. Okay. So the rain stopped, by the way. Mm, I think, I mean, I don't think that double protect is that bad here. Okay. Yeah, I think we can go for this double protect. Alright, you don't want to take the fake out, huh? Yeah, and they can't realistically switch in, because they like in which of the wings and mm -hmm. take that out. Alright, so we are going to do a double protect here on both our mons. So yeah, she's going to switch the Incineroar and bring yeah. the Aleki. Alright, that means the Xerneas is attacking, because he can't protect after a taunt. Alright, protect on both slots. Let's see what he does. It was a Moonblast, and it was into the Kyogre. Alright. Tailwind, Water Spell time. Alright, we finally have the position we want. We have dodge all kinds of fake outs. Alright, the Aleki will go oh, down here. We don't have the rain, I think. Zerneas can survive? Yes, it will survive, but at least the Aleki yeah, will be gone. Like... Yeah. Alright. Let's see it. He's thinking about it. Alright, here we go. Tailwind. This is still a full health water spell with a wave incense. There it is. Brrr. The Aleki goes down, and that's good damage on the Xerneas. That's that's range for Rillaboom on it. Yeah. Alright. And there is the Moonblast from the Xerneas, and it goes into the Kyogre. Alright, we take it. No drop. Alright, no drop. But he did shake off the taunt. However... However, <clears throat> we could just taunt him again, and then we can yeah, bring in Serena, and then we get our, our rain back. So, what would you like to do? Uh, realistically. I mean, if they fake out the taunt, we can just call the slots. Mm -hmm. Would you like to taunt the Xerneas again? Yeah, I'm down to double down that slot with taunts and scalds. Okay. Taunt and Scald. Alright. The Ensign has to pick one. Is he going to give us the Scald or is he going to give us the Taunt? He's okay, he's going to give us the Scald. He's giving us the Scald. That is the Moblest. Oh, we are faster. Yes, we are. That was a game changer. Oh, yeah. We have, we have the tail and we got a forgot. Yep. Alright. And that's all he has left. Xerneas okay. cannot beat Kyogre. Alright, now we and just we do just this. Cannon. Scald. Scald it. Cancel the battle! There it is. We got <laughs> another dub. I forgot we have Tailwind. Like, I'm so used it on not having Tailwind on my side of the field. No worries. Alright, he, he has VGC in his name. I'm already afraid. And it's a Reshiram Rain team. Oh my goodness. I've never, th I've never thought I'd see this. I, uh, I think it's... He has, he has zero answers to Luxray, that's the thing. He has zero answers to Luxray, you say? That ferret don't yeah. second answer. Mm, maybe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean... Okay. You can't do much depending on the sets. If it's a V, that's probably a ratio, but I don't think it is. Because think... normally Brasherum is the Assault Vest, so I would assume... Could be Life Orb. Why? I don't know why, but I think it's utility umbrella. Like I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna say it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why would you switch on? But he's got Fiji in his name, so it might. So what's my lead, Evelyn? Yeah. Uh, I think we wanna go for ogre. Okay. Oh. We do bring the ogre. Okay. Twenty seconds. And we're gonna bring the and Rilla. Okay. Rilla. Okay. Luxury. Okay. And mm, I don't know if we bring Incineroar or Torn. Ten seconds. I would say match okay, our team. Yeah. Bring Torn. Bring Torn. Okay. Locking in. All right. In time. Matching Tailwind with Tailwind yet again. Now, now it could be Trick Room wins a cot. All oh right. But but stop, he's stop, stop, stop. he's not Japanese, so I'm gonna say he's not Trick Room wins a cot. <laughs> I see it coming up. 
All right, Rillaboom and Whip. Oh, Rillaboom wins. Got double grass lead. Okay. Uh, what we want to do? Bring the turn and U-turn. Okay. Bring the tornadoes and U-turn. Okay. Yeah. Into the Whimsicott or the Rillaboom? Into the Rilla. Ooh. Wait, were we faster? I didn't see. Were we? Uh, <laughs> I think we were. Okay. What's our speed on this so, yeah, bring... Uh, Very fast. Are you faster than me? Oh my god. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Alright. So. Okay. Torn. And then you turn, you turn. into the Rillaboom. Yeah. All right, let's see it. Does he predict a U-turn of, of our own? Because he knows we may have Serena in the back. But then he's like, wait a yeah. minute, Tornadus. All right, right, let's. I say he goes for a U-turn. Yeah, he went for the fake, the fake out. Off? Wow, okay. The Rilla. Okay. Interesting. No trick roll? I know! <laughs> you see? You see these play These plugs... I saw Ferrothorn, I saw Women's Cut, bro, this is Trick Room. And he's not even Japanese! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. We can't play with that Trick Room because we don't have Tailwind. Uh, Rash runs, what's. Rash runs is like. Okay, it's 90 speed as well, so. Oh, we wanna okay. hurry. Okay, we hurricane the Women's Cut. Okay. No, we hurricane the Rillo. Okay. We hurricane the Rillo. Sure. And what is your reasoning? Uh, uh, Killed the threat to Kyogre, I guess. Yeah, it's the threat of Kyogre. You want to U-turn it? I mean, Whimsicott has... Yeah, we can U-turn it. Okay. Bring in... Looks racing. Oh, it, the switch! Okay, and it's rushing around. switch. Whoa, into the rest and that's gonna deal some damage. Alright, I hope we can get a confusion. Okay, so we'll Blaze. Alright, U-turn! Oh. Chip! Alright. We'll switch out here. To be honest, we can just bring Kyogre. Really? Like, yeah. Okay. If he if he moonblasts and gets a special attack drop, I blame you. Yeah, not me. I would assume they wouldn't. Okay. Kyogre's in. Oh my god! If what is is what? Is There's like... Hurricane. Oh, that's not AV. We get the confusion. Oh, the confusion. Let's go. All right. There's the moonblast. Okay, onto the tar. Ooh. Okay, onto the tar. Okay, okay. He did get the drop. <laughs> he did get the drop. Yeah, we gotta switch. We gotta switch. Okay, but not on the Kyogre. So. Yeah. So. Should be okay. They're gonna probably. I think to. Yeah, we bring the luxury and we water. And we're gonna click the button, huh? Yeah. Okay. Because the restaurant is under pressure. Alright, we're gonna switch the tornadoes. He does he keep the restaurant in? Unless we were just faster. So we'll see. Alright, so we're gonna get an intimidate. Of course, not gonna matter here. Alright. And okay, he's going for the attack. Can we get the confusion in? Yes! Oh, okay. Yes. And there's the water spout. Reshiram, I'm sorry. Goodbye. And the Whimsicott is sash. Okay. All right. Did he click yes. the Moonblast in the Kyogre? What do you think? I think they do. It's the most logical thing to All do. All right. Moonblast into the Kyogre. Okay, does he yeah. get the drop, though? He does not get the okay, drop. They don't. And his Trick Room is running out. Mm -hmm. All right. And so is his will to live. All right. <laughs> and he does bring That's the Ferrothorn. Yep, but we have a Tornadus. Alright, how many turns And we have a Kyogre with Water but Okay, we, no, two no, no, turns. no, no, Two turns. Uh, yeah, we... Volt Switch, the Whimsicott. Ooh, Volt Switch, okay. And then? And bring game. let's see, uh... And bring it in real. Yep, I like this play a lot. This way we can get Fake Out on the final turn. And yeah. potentially take in this power whip. Yeah. And we fake out and hurricane. Yeah. And we leave the rotten. There is the power whip, thing. just like we thought. Into the Rillaboom slot, we take it. Alright, and the Volt Switch, Luxray getting the kill. <laughs> Alright. 
Do you want the tornadoes? Yeah, let's go for the torn. All right. Ankles. Okay. Here it is. The tornadoes will come in. All right. Now, what does he have left in the back? Uh, it's the Rilla. Yeah, yes. it's the Rilla. Correct. All right. Here we go. There is El Rilla Boom. Okay. What's the play? Uh, check the trick room with us, please. It should be one. It is one. Okay, it's one turn. You want to protect uh, the so torn? Are... Yeah, we protect the torn. Okay. And, and then... fake out the Ferrothorn. Fake out Ferrothorn. Gotcha. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not a... that's not a bad play. All right. Because we maybe protect ourselves. Oh, we were faster. Yeah, we have the faster fake out. So this is uh, probably a U-turn. We'll see. Uh, it is a U-turn. Oh, okay. Goodbye, Rillaboom. Oh, Rillaboom lives. No, no, no. no. All okay. right. Switching Kyogre. No, no. Okay. Do you want the Luxray for the Intimidate? Mm, I don't think it's necessary. Okay. No more grassy terrain. Yeah, that's no grass terrain, so they can uh, grassy glide. So I think a uh, hurricane onto the Ferrothor, because I think it's probably a salt vest and mm. switching the Kyogre. Okay. Wow. You're, you're, you're hoping that kills, huh? Yeah. No, it won't kill, but I don't. But considering that maybe a U turn from the Rillaboom won't do much damage, because that's the most likely play. Okay. Alright. So it I won't kill. Gonna, like, yeah, it won't kill, but they like gonna U-turn my Kyogre and probably Gyro Ball the Tornadoes. Alright, here's the Hurricane on the Ferrothorn. Almost half. That is. Drum beating. Out to the turn. Nope. Okay. Oh my gosh. Into the Kyogre. Oh my gosh, I'm so depressed right now. <laughs> That's why I wanted to bring in the Luxray. There's the Gyro yeah. Ball. Okay, we still have a chance. Because Luxray has the funny Ice Fang. Okay. Yeah, see, I I, 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 I didn't know, I didn't want to do that play, but you, you wanted me to do it. But anyway. <laughs> because he, 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 he can easily go over that. He has to. That's like his win con. Alright, here we go. Yeah. We got the grab. He has VGC in his name. <laughs> you gotta respect him. Yeah. All right, so we do get an intimidate off, intimidate uh, off now. All right, a little bit too late. We did lose two mons, but maybe we can try. Uh, okay, that's the best. Hey, we're probably gonna fake out. Okay. Fake out and I think the villa. Okay, now if I do this, um, he kills our villa boom. Yeah. Okay. All right, so there's our fake out from our Rillaboom into theirs. This will do close to half. All right, Ice Fang. Can we get a freeze? No freeze. Cannot get a freeze. There's the knockoff. There goes our AV. Oh, that's great. Okay. There's still hope. There's still hope. Okay, but how do we kill the Ferrothorn? With that's them? a good question. <laughs> Uh, I guess Glide doesn't kill us, does it? Does what? I would have. Does Grassy Glide from their Rillaboom kills our Rillaboom? No. That's the question. Okay, no. so we're gonna U turn because we're. No, we're slower, right? Our Rillaboom? Yeah, I mean, we're super fast, but we also. Oh, yeah, they go for the U turns. I forgot that. So, yeah, we go for the U turn and we go for the Ice Fang onto the Rilla. So, we're double targeting. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Let's see it. Losing Tornadoes and Kyogre really hurt in the yeah, same turn. I didn't expect. I, I, I expected Torn to go down. But I didn't expect Kyogre to do it so... Alright, so we're gonna kill the Rillaboom here, but how do we beat yeah. this Ferrothorn? 
Ice Fang Freeze. Okay. Hope for the best. Alright, we're gonna hope. Yeah, Jarabal probably kills us. I mean, they're minus one. Okay, that does nothing. We have chances. Can Luxray be the clickbait? <laughs> Maybe. He, he, he's not. He's not leftovers. Yeah, Ice Fang. Okay. We Calm. just gonna Ice Fang. Alright, Luxray, it's all on you. We would love some freeze hacks. Here's the Ice Fang. That's not a lot of damage. That did more damage to us than we did to him. <laughs> Alright, there's the power. Oh, they're gonna do some. Okay. We do live. Yeah. Ah, oh my god, they're 4 1. Oh my god, I'm so bad in the letter right now. Alright, but he's gonna win, so I'm just gonna have to run. Nah, okay, yeah. Alright, I'll 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 play it out. I'll play one more. But yeah, that I, I really didn't want to do that Kyogre switch. <laughs> I really didn't want to, but I had to yeah. Oh <laughs> there we go, we get a freeze. <laughs> but I think we still Oh Oh he fought he thought out anyway. There's the body press. Okay, okay. Alright, so once again, the trick room tailwind setter yet again. Alright. Great job, Alto VGC. Okay, it's Groudon. That's Groudon. Wow. Whoa. Stack Attacker really? and Hatterune and the Charizard. Ooh. Okay, uh, I would assume Charizard Shores have based on that. Uh, I don't know about the Incineroar. So. Neither the really bomb speed. I think like we just go to our Nogre and we taunt in, ca in case of anything. We can Skulls, we can switch in. Then we bring in Cineroar. Okay. Now, do you bring in Serena uh, or Rillaboom? Uh, we bring the Serena, which... Um... Yeah, we bring the Serena. What moves do we have? U-turn or Chaunt? Okay, and Grassy Glide. Okay. I respect it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're locking in. Satisfied. All right, the classic Kyogre versus Groudon matchup. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how this one turns it, out. There's a lot of matchups that I like playing against because normally it takes okay. a huge brain. Okay, Big... we just switch real... No, okay, we don't. It's good. Fake out, boys. Okay, one thing I like, one thing I like to do is like Hurricane... Hurricane, Rilla -boom uh, Rilla -boom and switch and switch arena. Yeah, that's the Clover really Bell's play. Yeah, <laughs> that's the Clover yeah, okay. Bell's play. We Wait. just do that, like that covers both options. Because yes, we could protect the Kyogre, but then he can just fake out the Torn, and then we're in trouble. So yeah, we're gonna do it. Are yeah, you ready? Has it. Totally. All right, we're we're sharp beak. We have a bonus. If he's AV, yeah. he might die. All right, we're locking in. Will the Clover play Welk? I'm sorry. Will okay. the Clover Bells play work? Here comes Serena. In for the Kyogre. Did he go for Fake Out? Did he go for Grassy Glide? Survey says he went for the Fake Out. Okay, they both switch on the ground. That's great. All right, and here's the Hurricane. Is this enough to kill the Rillaboom? Probably. It is. It is. Gaming time. Wow. There it is. The Clover Bells play has worked yet again. All right, now what does he do? Does he bring in the Groudon? Uh, I would just... No, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean... Did he even bring the ground on? He brought the Hatterene. Hatterene, bro. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's magic... Okay, uh... Hurricane and Grassy Glide to the Hatterene. I don't see why protect... Uh, why protect and something would be good, so... Alright, here we go again. Withdraws the Ensign. Okay. Ah, this is ground on. Okay. Yeah. All right, you better hope we hit the hurricane, Evelyn. All right, please hit. Come on, tornadoes, be a champ. <laughs> Grassy glide first. Real. Damage. That's good damage. Hurricane. We miss, Evelyn. Okay. Trick room. Okay, that's trick room. As I expected. All right. So, is this question now if they're gonna to precipice blade? For no reason, or they are gonna to maybe eat crash. Yes. Uh, I think we hurricane 
the hattering and switching coyote. No! We hurricane, but maybe it's the grass. I think ground is more menacing, so it's maybe more worth to to hurricane the ground and switching Kyogre. Wow. Okay. Because I'm expecting the heat rush and rock move will be bad, but like rock move. We 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 have to guess. It, there, there's no like clear call here. We're just taking yeah. a guess. All right, so we're gonna switch the Kyogre here, and we're going to start our rain. Take away his sun. At the very least, so that way this hurricane can become accurate. Yes, he has priority. There's the mystical fire. Whoa, there's the mystical wow. fire. Wow. That is... Okay. I mean... That's bad, but not terrible. And there's the rock slide. Does that kill? Yeah, that's a... It does no, not. No, 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 no. Now, just don't flinch tornadoes and we can get the hurricane off. We do. Okay. Can we get a confusion? Big damage. No. But we have an incendiary uh... in the back. Yeah. Bring the Incineroar and call the Donny. Okay. You heard him. We're bringing in the Incineroar. And we're going for the Scald. Yeah. Okay. We're Scalding the Groudon. Will it be I enough? Mean, even if we're uh, like minus two, mm -hmm. that will probably still kill on that range. Really? Alright, I, yeah. I, I love to see it. I would I love mean, to see it. Mystical, uh, mystic water plus rain. That's a lot. That's true. And it's a ground on though. Not... Yeah, no, but I ground know, is not. Yes, like, even minus two, it will kill. It will kill. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna preserve the tornadoes, saving our tailwind for the end game if we need it. So here comes Incineroar. We will intimidate the ground on. I can't remember if there is HP damage from a life orb or not. So this could potentially be White Herb. I'm not sure. Uh, yep, it is. Yeah, it is like what, the White Herb. It is the White Herb. The Groudon protects. Okay. That's not bad at all. We just... Okay, that's great. So we just fake out some Water Spout, maybe? I'm down for Because now we're in a very good position. Because they can switch in nothing. Because that's the Incineroar. Uh, Hattery doesn't do much damage, doesn't get do nothing, Mystical Fire there's nothing, and there's no terrain. So yeah, I'm down to just fake out Water Spouts. You want to fake out the Groudon? Or the Hattery? Yeah, fake out the, the Groudon. Okay, and uh, you want a Water Spout. Yeah, click the funny button. Alright. Evelyn making the call. He thinks it's enough. Let's see it. Will this be the game-winning play? All right, there's the fake out on the ground on. That's probably the game. Another mystical, mystical fire. fire. This is minus two. Yeah, no, nah. I know. All right, you know. All right, here it is. The water spout minus two. I just about killing the ground. Yeah, it's enough to kill the ground. All right, the ground on does go down. Now you could probably switch the Kyogre out. Yeah, we of course switch the Kyogre, bring the... Oh, that switch is bright. Oh, that's fine. That's still dying to a Scald or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, with... Hmm, what? Yes. We probably... Uh, oh, yeah. We probably getting fake out to you. Probably onto the Incineroar slot. Alright, so the Incineroar is gonna come in. That's his only Mon left. Uh, so there it is. How many throws of Trick Room left? Uh, I will check for you in one second. I think it's one. Let's see. It is one turn. Okay. Uh, you wanna party shot the Incineroar okay. and... And bring in the Serena. Bring in the Serena. Alright. I have an idea what you think you're gonna try and do. Yes. Yeah. You're trying to get the Kyogre in <laughs> with the parting shot and then just water spout and win the game. Yep. All exactly right. That. There's the mystical fire. Serena will not go down because we have the rain and that wouldn't have killed anyway. There's the snarl. Wow. Whoa, two, two, two physical attackers. That's right. a great difference. <laughs> All right. And there's the parting shot. From our Incineroar to theirs. 
All right, a goodbye gift. Yeah. All right, here we and go. Now we just bring Kyogre and just click the funny button. All right, the funny button. Is this going to be a 4-0, Evelyn? Of course it will. Of course, Evelyn says. All right. It's the redemption. <laughs> it's our redemption from the 0-3 we had on the ladder. All right. I click the funny button, and uh, I guess I'll click this button. Yeah, and onto the Incineroar. In yeah, case sure. it's Pasho Berry. Pasto Berry. Battle was yeah, canceled. Okay. Won't give us the chance to do it. Uh, okay. There is a Decidueye and a Pulper and a Porygon too. Oh. Okay. So standardization match. Mm. I don't know how standardization this is, <laughs> but. I mean, I understand the Lando and the Pelipper and the Incin, but I don't yeah, know about the other two. The Pelipper and the Incin, so I don't know if they're bringing like this the Sejuai or something. I've been like playing with the Sejuai on Team Builder, and I know it gets grassy lights, so that could be an issue. But okay. I think they bring. Uh, I'm fine to bring like Torn Ogre. Okay. Lead. Okay. Uh. Bring the Serena. Okay. And bring the Incineroar. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Alright. He's locked in. We're locked in. Now, if he leads the Pelipper, what's our play? Thunder it. Thunder it? <laughs> okay. I mean, depends on what he has on together with Pelipper. All right, let's see. He does bring the P2 and the Decidueye. Whoa, that's a bold move. Wow. Mm. We could actually hurricane the Decidueye and water response. Okay, you heard him. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's a good play. Hurricane Decidueye. They yeah, they could get a trick, but. Considering their Pokemon, that's not a big of an issue. And the water spout. Okay, here we go. We're clicking the button. And he lets us click the hurricane. The damage. Okay, Ooh. single target water spout. Please kill the Porygon. Are we modest? Yeah, we are modest. Oh, this is going to be close. Ooh, Porygon too. Just got smashed. Dang! Okay! Alright, bring in the Zacian. Okay, that, that's the Zacian, yes. Bring in the Landorus, please, just be the Landorus. It is the Landorus! Oh my god. If the Zacian, we just like. Okay, we like. Tailwind and Water Spout, GG's. Tailwind and Water Spout. Evelyn says GG right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what's the chances? Alright. Does he give us the chance? Let's see. Battle was cancelled! Ah, <laughs> uh, it is the mirror matchup of Kyogre, yet again. Again. With Serena it and Suicune. Suicune. Ooh! And Zapdos. Yeah, that Suicune is new? Hmm. It is a weird Pokemon, considering you have, like, two tailings. Yep. Mm, okay. Two things weak to Serena. And Rillaboom. What if they're just, like, Torn Ogre? Okay. Rillaboom and Serena. I mean... Because the thing is, they don't have an Elekki to trap on us. So, that's cool. Okay, we'll go with it. Alright, the mirror yet again. All the Torn Ogre Timmy's coming out to play. Alright, his name is Time Only. Look at that card, what? Time Only? And they're not playing Dialga. Yeah, right? You're not playing Dialga and your name is Time Only. Alright, it is going to be Tornogre Serena. Tornado Serena. Okay. Okay, I mean, that's not terrible for us. Because we have okay. a sharp beak. So they have two plays. Yes. It's like, they could, like, Tailwinds and Power Up. Because... Okay. That's the one I'm expecting. What about Tailwind Triple Axel? Yeah, that could be another option as well. Okay. So how do we cover? I kind of want to hurricane the Serena slot. Me too. So I think we can hurricane that. Okay. And do you want to protect? 
Yeah, I think protecting is fine. All right, we're going to protect the Kyogre here. Let's see if he goes for one of two plays. Protect Kyogre. Turn one. No water spout. All right. Tornado's Tailwinds. Now, is this Triple Axle? It's Grassy Glide. Ooh, another Serena Grassy Glide. Hurricane! Sharp Beak! It dies. It dies. Wow. Okay. Another Grassy Glide Serena. That they're now faster, and they could count us. That's kind of bad. But we can't play around it, so let's see. All right, it is going to be the Zapdos. Okay, there is the Zapdos. Another thing mm. like, that hits Kyogre. Do you want to tail win a water spots? But he might be faster. I would make it. Yeah. I would assume he's faster. Yeah, but I mean, they don't know that they don't know if we are not stashed. So I think we can with risk the water spots. Okay, you don't want to play it safe with the Scald, huh? Nah, nah, nah. Okay. All right, Evelyn says, screw playing, save, we're going for the water spout. So, yeah, Tailwind, Zapdos, show me the Thunderbolt. Icy Wind misses, but hits the Kyogre. Oh, he misses the... The, the least bad. important part. All right, does he go for the Thunderbolt? Or is this a Volt Switch? It is the Thunderbolt, oh, Kyogre. Lost it there, Kyogre. Lost. Ooh. Do take it? We do take it. Okay. How much is this There's doing? Not much. Does some damage. Okay, okay. so we hurt. Oh, he's that's Barry. This is Barry. Oh, I didn't expect that. Okay. Still. I think we can hurry him. The corn. Okay. And switch in Rilla. Ooh. Or the Serena. Ooh. I think we can switch to the Serena because we have the triple axle. Yep. We can on the I think so too. Now, just make sure he doesn't hurricane this slot. Uh, well, he hopes so. <laughs> Alright. Does he click the hurricane? He has two things that can click hurricane, but our hurricane goes first. Is this to kill the shark beak? It comes in the clutch yet again. Alright, Zapdos. Thunderbolt. Is this into Serena? Yeah, it is. It is. Don't okay. para. No para. Alright, now he has his Kyogre. Hmm, we have... Happy. What if we switch, we, we switch the Rilla and Grassy Glide? That's kinda obvious, isn't it? I would just leave the Kyogre alone because we have Rilla Boom and take out the Zapdos. Yeah, I think we Hurricane and, and Triple X, but that's luck. Yeah, I mean, the Kyogre doesn't matter here. Uh, he might even protect. Alright, he goes for Ice Beam. Does, yeah, that shouldn't kill. <laughs> oh, the Evelyn Eevees! We do hit the Hurricane. Can we get a Confusion? Nope. And here okay, comes no. hurricane. hurricane. Can we live? Serena! Ah! Okay, not bad. We can. Uh, Grassy Glide. Switch in Rilla. Grassy Glide. Oh! It's Okay, okay, we can switch, get the Rilla. Get the Rilla in? Yeah, get the Rilla in. Okay. Alright. Okay. They don't have the Sailwind anymore. So they don't. Good. Correct. So I think we can just be safe, hurricane the Zapdos, and drum beating the Kyogre. Hurricane the Zapdos, and drum beating yeah. the Kyogre. Yep. Okay. You heard it. Is this the game winning play? Probably. I hope so. Alright. There is the Tornado's Hurricane. Does the Sharp Beak kill the Zapdos? It does yet again. Sharp Beak Tornadus. Alright. And there is a drum beating. Kyogre didn't even protect. Not that it would have helped him okay. anyway. And there it is. A dub against the mirror. Okay. You get those. All right, we defeated time only. <laughs> All right, folks, now we're in the Poke Pace section of the video where we're going to talk about Evelyn's Kyogre Luxray team. So, Evelyn, you chose Kyogre as the restricted of your choice. So, how did you pick the rest of the team from there? Uh, normally, when I started playing the Kyogre in series time, I just used the standard, which is plus 
was like Tron, Tron August, Arena, uh, Incineroar, Luxray, no Luxray, no, Original Lackey, and a filler, which was, I don't, I don't remember the filler one. I think I was using like Yushifu Single Strike, uh, and what I thought of the team is that he was very fast and hyper offense, not that he's not bad, but he's not my playstyle, I like to have a more bulky offense playstyle, so I started adding Rillaboom and to the point where changing spreads well to the point where I got Torn, Torn Ogre, Serena, Rillaboom, Incineroar and Regilecki. And Regilecki was the like the last piece of the of a grass cannon, I should say. The team was uh, was bulky enough except for it. My Torn could take some hits, but Regilecki I still was struggling against some stuff. I Complaining a lot that it died too fast. Consider people would like often target my Serena, and once they once they did, my Ridge like was pretty much dead. So I wanted a uh, a Boker, or like to type. So I tried uh, um, some options like Rifle, but I got into Luxray. Considering that Luxray has Snarl, it has Volt Switch, it has Ice Fang, so it has some. Interesting coverage moves, get some decent book, and it simulates, which is excellent for the Zashi matchup. And so this team is normally built for runs to play the pivoting game that is induced by Asian teams and some mm -hmm. other Calyrex teams as well, as well as Xerneas. And I like to play the pivoting game sometimes, I think it's interesting considering my Kyogre and just wa clicking water spot to the right signs without depending on the torn. So about Miss Press, uh, the Torn survives uh, the Torn Oak oh, Coast in case uh, 252 HP and for special defense Rillaboom. Okay. With the Assault Vest. It's like a normal set that I've seen around. People have been running Vogue here, but that's a good benchmark. And I dumped the rest into the special defense to just make the Electro Lab living job easier. So. Uh, now to the Kyogre, it's kind of basic, yeah. but it had some speed benchmarks because I wanted to outspeed Rage like by exactly one point yep. to don't waste some speed at least, so and so I win this outspeed Rage like by one point. It survives no I for Kalorex as for Barrage at plus one, at plus one, and survives a close combat to uh, two. 152 a dimension at plus one. Okay. So Rillaboom spread I got from my uh, VTC Smogo Player League Era Requaza. I did some changes to it, but it leaves its main job is to kill Regilecki, kill Kyogre all the times, and survive uh, Behemoth Blade. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Good spread. Very so fast Rillaboom, by the way. Yeah, it's a very fast Rillaboom because. My the team, I often find myself in good situations when I lose the Rillaboom because I have the faster fake outs. So some often the times I can fake out their fake outs and water spouts that came to clutch many many times. Okay. Uh, considering the Incineroar is just the like the standard live Xerneas Moonblast plus two with 236 in HP and special defense, being careful, not more special. The Serena is from the the Players Cup Invitational Champion, and it outspeeds Calyrex Shadow in Sailwind, is pretty much. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, the my favorite spread of course is the Luxury spread. It's quite special defense, bulky as you see, 180 special defense with the assault vest and the careful nature. Allows it to surprisingly take uh, Earth Power from. Life War Team is Lando. Ooh, that's a good one to know. Yeah, that's a great one. And we ice tank them in his turn. I mean, it's not gonna kill it 100% of the times because we're, of course, we're quite bulky and with not much attack investment, but it's a roll to kill it most of the times. Okay. Wild Shark also kills Urshifu at its strike most of the times, if I remember correctly. Okay. And. It's meant to also take uh, water spots, choice packs, modus, and lane water spots. Ooh! Okay, okay. Yeah. 
I like it. I like it. Yeah. I mean, it seems like a pretty cool team, especially with uh, uh, Luxray uh, being a bulkier option than Reggie Um Yeah, his team yeah. is less to be bulky. Yeah, 100%. Yes, and I, Yeah, go yes, ahead. I wanted to play, like, I was from in between because I didn't want to play the trickle because I was worried about, like, Calyrex and some things. Because, of course, the Calyrex, the Calyrex matchup is kind of bad, and if they start snowballing, they can even bypass my two team base. So I kind of, was kind of worried about that, and, like, trickle and Calyrex existing, as you guys saw. Okay. So, I wanted to have the sailing option as well, so this game can play in trick room if it needs to but it normally plays into a bulky tailing option okay i mean it's a pretty cool team overall so now uh thank you for sharing those ev calcs and spreads so now let's go into the rental code where you too can try evelyn's luxray kyogre squad and there it is folks this is um evelyn's kyogre Luxray rental code and it was a fun one to pilot Evelyn once again thanks for joining us on the channel uh, in, in hindsight and now that you've uh, used this team quite a bit is there anything that you would change currently first of all I gotta thank you for hosting me and of course thanks for your catch uh, one thing I realized when the team was kind of done is that I did not set that those into the Luxray slot that could have been cool you know instead of Getting the Intimidate off, the second Intimidate off, uh, punish the Abihemoth Blade, for example. That could be an option, and also the Rana matchup would, be, would have been like, kind of a bit easier, because I didn't need to worry about, like, a Placidus Blade and just heal with them or something. So it's a thing that I would definitely consider. Yep. Um, if, I think Incineroar is normal, considering I have, like, the snarl on the luxury, I think it's worth to change into something like Photoshop or the like Darkest Lariat because Fireblade's not doing much in lane. So, considering we have luxury as a bit of more of a supporter, I think Incineroar spread could be, of, could be optimized to be a little bit more offensive. All right, that's another option. Well, either way, it's still a pretty good squad. So, once again, thanks for sharing the team. And, uh, Evelyn, where can the viewers find you? Uh, on the funny bird app, at Evelyn, that's E-V-E-L-Y-E-E. -E -E. I-E, okay, sorry. And, yeah, I just post me or something. So, but, yeah, you can find me there. And also, on this course, feel free to DM me. All right, we will put Evelyn's Twitter in the video description below. So, once again, thanks for joining us today. And for those watching, we'll be back with another Series 10 team in the next video. Peace out, okay. and have a good Bye -bye. one.